Hi YouTube, it's Carrie, Lady VSG. Um, I'm just doing a quick check-in. It's been about a week since my other video. Uh, I graduated yesterday, so I've got finals this coming week, and then I move back to Oregon. So my biggest concern right now is mostly just making sure I'm not doing a ridiculous amount of stress eating. Um, I talked to the nutritionist at Obesity Control Center since, oh, that's right, I'm having my surgery um, April 13th at Obesity Control Center down in Tijuana, Mexico. It's going to be done by Dr. Ariel Ortiz and his team. I'm really excited. They come very highly recommended and I was really impressed with just their interactions with me and um, from what I was able to see of the facility and everything on their website and the information that they gave me. Um, and I, a friend of mine did go down there and she loved them and speaks very highly of them so I'm very confident in my choice. Um, so it is going to be a medical tourism, you know, kind of thing down to Mexico and I will be self-paying since my insurance doesn't cover bariatric surgery. Um, so anyway, so I was talking to the nutritionist. Um, when I booked the surgery, I weighed 301 pounds. So they want me to lose 30 pounds before the surgery. So I just wanted to know if they had any diets that they recommend or that they've had their patients, you know, have more success with than other ones, that kind of thing. And she said, basically what they have found works really well is essentially an Adkins diet. So really high protein, um, really restricted on the carbohydrates. Um, so that's, I mean, that's kind of what I'm shooting for. It's been a little difficult lately just because, you know, I've been in nursing school. I am not working while I'm in school. So money's really tight and... I'm sure, as many of you know, the prepackaged dinners that are like all carbo carbohydrate and filler, I guess. Um, but those are really inexpensive. And so when you're a student and you're on a really tight budget, you know, like I can get 10 packs of ramen for a dollar. And that'll last me a lot longer than a dollar's worth of ground beef, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, but I'll be moving, you know, in a week and then taking the NCLEX and hopefully getting my license and getting a job. And then I'll be able to eat better because I can afford better food. Um, actually at pinning, uh, the girl, the nurse who pinned me was a former LPN classmate of mine. And she got her RN to, she was in the cohort, the two cohorts ahead of me. Um, so she's been an RN for six to eight months or so. Um, but she just had gastric sleeve too about a month ago. And so she's up to... Um, mushy foods and, you know, back to regular food kind of a thing. Um, but she, um, I just totally lost my train of thought. I apologize. Uh, she was saying for her, one of the things that, that was hardest was like sodas and things. Cause you can't have carbonation afterwards. So she, she did her best to give up soda and coffee and things like that prior to the surgery, just so that she was out of the habit of drinking it. And that way, when she was post-op, she wouldn't be craving it, you know, ideally. So I think those are specifically soda and coffee are two of my biggest weaknesses. So I think that'll definitely be kind of the focus of the next few months is weaning back on those and then eventually cutting them out entirely so that, you know, like she said, you, she, I don't want to feel like crap and then have these comfort foods that I'm not allowed to have. So, yeah. I mean, so that's, that's basically where I am right now, um, trying to stick to an Adkins diet kind of a thing and deciding to wean myself off of coffee and soda and, you know, drink water like a healthy human being. Um, oh, I feel like there was something else I wanted to tell you guys and I can't think what it is. So I'm just going to end it here. And if I remember it, I will make another video. All right. I'll check you later. Bye.